Hello everyone, welcome to Demo Reel. As you can tell, immediately there's a departure from the normal here in that we're playing an Xbox uh, demo disc instead of a, uh, a PlayStation 1. And that's because I'm here with uh, Alex D20. Say hi. Hello. Yeah, and this is actually one of his. Um, he's got a bunch of these old Xbox ones. I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to see some of uh, how the other half lives, so to speak. So when we look at our playable demos here, and this is one you picked out, we've got uh, Dino Crisis 3 and uh, NHL Hockey, Metal Arms, Midtown Madness 3, Outlaw Volleyball, which I actually uh, talked about in a recent episode, and uh, Voodoo Vents. Um, some interesting games here, definitely. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started with Dino Crisis 3 here. And Dino Crisis um, is a franchise I actually have played on this uh, this channel before. We played the first one a while ago, but this is going to be a lot different. Because not only is this two games later from that one, it's also a completely different console. So, uh, let's see, it says press start button. And yeah, we're gonna start a new game here. Uh, let's let's just play it normally. <laughs> that might be a bad idea since I don't I never I've never played this installment of the franchise. But I have either, so yeah, it'll be it'll be new for everybody. Um, yeah, I I really don't know. Uh, okay, so all right, we've got our controls here uh, instead of at the start like on the PlayStation ones. Um, looks like. Uh, yeah, we've got a fire and inspect and jump with and sob. wasp. I don't know what wasp means. Oh. But um and then it looks like right trigger locks direction. In in the PlayStation One one we had to hold right trigger to be our R two in that to be um to aim. But here <laughs> We have jetpacks. Apparently um, Apparently here it makes me jetpack actually. I don't know why it said um lock direction. Uh, that doesn't seem accurate. <laughs> Um, okay, so, <laughs> this is really different, um, I don't know if you guys, if you saw, if you saw me play the first Final Crisis, it was nothing like this, uh, this is weird, actually, um, let's see, let's see, let's take a look around, this other character just standing here, Apparently, I don't know, uh, we might be in space now, it looks like we are, or at least something futuristic, got a recovery kit. I don't know if we're playing as Regina, who is the main character from the first one, and uh, I think the second one as well. Um, I don't know if she's the main character in this one, or, or what have you, but I don't see any obvious directions to go. There's some blinking red lights here, but uh, yeah, power supply switch is off, activate switch, yes. Okay. So I activate the switch and that looks like it's opening a door maybe? Or you push another um, one? I don't know. Yeah, there was another area like oh, that. Um, hold on. It says shutter switch, open shutter, yes. Okay, so, I mean, that's a little tedious, but now we've got this whole new area here. That just opened up the whole wall, didn't it? Um, no, no dinosaurs yet, but yeah, we've got this loading lock, and yeah, it looks like we might be Regina. It's a little hard to tell. Or Regina might be the other Where character. Talking about, if she's even in this game. Anyway, they're all dead, he says. Um, and, yeah, I guess there's dinosaurs in, in space. This seems really silly. Like, yeah. not like the... Yeah, that looks like Regina. But it's not, not like the original game was serious or anything, but... This looks like it went jump the shark. This is dinosaurs in space. Because <laughs> um, those... Yeah, the more I look at these suits, that, that was like a space helmet. Yeah, there's something above this guy. He's about to die. Uh, some spit just fell on him, I think. Um, yep, there he goes. <laughs> That's our Uh, there, yeah, he's, he's or, on it. Wait a minute, what? Oh, nope, it's a space T-Rex, Alex. It's a space T-Rex. Holy shit. This is, uh, maybe, I don't know who that character is. Yeah, these might just be, this might just be a completely new cast. Especially if this is meant to be, like, the future, uh, from the original game. But this is, this is so different from the, from the first one. I don't even know how they arrived to this. Like, this doesn't feel like a natural progression at all. And granted, we didn't play the second one in between, but I don't think they would like, be that different from the first one. Like, look at this. This is some freaking. This is some goofy shit. <laughs> By comparison to a rather, um, a rather serious Jurassic Park s feel to the first one. Like, can you imagine? Like, the Jurassic Park sequels are pretty bad. But can you imagine if this was Jurassic Park three? <laughs> It was like the Jason X of the Jurassic Park universe. Uh, actually, he he does kind of look like Jason from that one. Uh, this is 
There's more uh, above us? Is that what we see? Or this is some kind of like slug thing. Um, what the, are these baby space T Rexes? Yeah, are like leeches. They're like leeches. Okay. And they're There's all like ganging up on. Are these based off of a dinosaur? I don't like. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Mm. Okay, they're like bur burring inside this thing. We aren't doing anything, by the way. This is. I I um. I feel like we're missing out on some like some cool like opening boss fight type thing or something. Uh, or maybe this is just setting up for the boss fight. Maybe if they infest... No, it looks like they killed it. I was about to say, they might be getting ready to turn it into some kind of super space T-Rex or something, but... No, it looks like they killed it for us. And... Now we're just looking at its skin ride. Okay. Um... <laughs> this is kind of boring, actually, for... For a game in space with a giant space T-Rex being attacked by giant No offense, beaches. this is pretty much like a video so far. Yeah. It's a complete video. All we, all we, we opened a door and then got like five minutes of video. This is... And I'm all, I'm all for like oh. cutscenes, but yeah, okay, now we're killing them. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I like this one as much as the first one. This is... He also auto aim apparently. Yeah, I like I'm not even trying to, and I think I killed all of them. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's one. But yeah, it, it auto targets. I I don't have to hold a uh, a weapon or a button to hold my my gun up like in the first one, which is a little bit faster. It's definitely faster paced, but at the same time, it, it does, does it does auto aim. Yeah, and this is the normal difficulty. Like it's not like because I'm on easy normal difficulty, he automatically shoots. As long as I'm just mashing uh, X here, I'm just firing and firing and firing. I didn't see an ammo thing. Do you? Um, no. It, th there is a lot of things on the screen. I don't know what they mean, but um, nothing seems to be moving down when I fire. So I don't know. I don't. Um, there's some kind of thing up here. Oops. But yeah, a uh, wide shot units. Um. Okay, it's still playing the battle music, so I guess there's probably a couple left around. Alright, no, it stopped. Never mind. Okay. Um, should I inspect the dead space rex? Looks like some kind of dinosaur? Really? Y yes, it does. You're right. It does look like some oh, kind of dinosaur. Oh, there's a green light over there. Oh, there's a green light over there. Yeah, and that, this is where our female companion went, so maybe... Um, I didn't see an option for co-op. Transition. Yeah, this would this seems like it would be a good setup for co-op if there's two characters. Yeah. But I, we didn't have an option for it, and we have a second controller plug-in. So if it was automatic, then she wouldn't have been fighting with me just then. So that's a little that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but we're yeah we got separated here, so that's probably why it's not co-op. But I mean they could have just not had to get separated. Oh, Velociraptor, Space Velociraptor, with a hammerhead. Shark head? Is that what that is? Yeah. Uh, it's got a shark face. Why? No reason. Just because. Space dinosaurs. Uh, this is so, like, disappointing. It's so... Uh, it's so stupid. <laughs> Look at... Uh, it, like, rammed me. <laughs> it rammed me. Um, yeah, these things are probably gonna kill me, though. Like, I... Uh, I just kinda don't care. They, like, disintegrate when you... Kill you already killed them. Yeah. There they go. I thought my health bar looked like it was empty, but now I'm not even sure if that's my health bar. I don't actually know what any of the, the HUD up there is. Um, let's let's see what's around this corner. Oh, it's boxes. even telling you where to go with the arrows in the ground. Yeah, it is. Um, even though there's not really a whole lot of options, like it's pretty straightforward what I'm supposed to do, because it's either forward or backwards. Those are my options. But, oh, yeah. Cool. Um, a gun blast might break this container. No sh Shit. Okay. Uh, gun blast. Uh, gun blast. Okay, if I hold it, it does like a more powerful blast. Um, increase tactical credits needed to buy items. Uh, they have currency in this game. Yeah, apparently. I don't know how that works. Who am I buying it from? Like in this situation, who am I buying shit from? A hey, uh, so, you know this dinosaur. Doesn't matter. Um. Wow. Yeah, I need to. Uh, oh, the platform. Yeah. I am. Um, you died. Yeah, I did. Hopefully, I'll be able to restart right about the same place. 
are um, over. be flying in space. Continue. Um, yeah, let's let's use a lifeline because I, I we can fly, so it should be easy to get over that. It's just he didn't move very fast, so we fell to the ground before we got to the platform. You're more hovering than you were. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh shit! Really? Well, the, Come on this way. Um, Did you skip it? No, but well, we're about. It's not. This isn't a long one. This isn't like the T Rex. We just got to. That would have been annoying if it was T Rex. <laughs> um, yeah, but we just got these Velociraptors again. They went down really easy last time, so we should be able to take them out. No problem. I thought they would be harder than that, but what the fuck do I know? They're but, just they're just shark space T Rexes. <laughs> Where are their eyes? I don't think. Are they, they just, have them? Do they use electric fields to see? What? Why am I bringing logic in the game? I don't know. The game developers did. Or, yeah, my health bar was empty before. I just was so close that um, you couldn't even see it. So that that is my health bar, the green bar. And it was empty after this fight. That's why I went... I, I might could have survived a little bit longer um, if I had been healed. Let's see. Can I, um... Uh, I don't see my, um... Op I don't see my menu. But I, like my, I saw my menu. I didn't see my items. I, I know I had a med kick I picked up earlier. I don't know how to use it. Um, no offense. I don't really like that they're pointing in the right direction in the demo. Well, I mean, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward game. Yeah, it's it's unnecessary, but it's not like it's the, it's not distracting or anything. Like I have yeah. bigger problems with this game than arrows on the floor. Like it's a, it's a space station. It makes sense that there'd be like things like that. So I mean, free fire, but what's the point? You got away. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is the item I can't buy. Okay. So, um, this doesn't get me high enough to fly through it. Yeah. Uh, I would do that. But um. Let's see if I. Can... Oh oh oh! There's one here. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Uh, can I? I can't seem to move the camera. Oh. Uh, he didn't move forward enough. There we go, that's better. Okay, and then this is... Oh, right. I go down here. And uh, there's a, a door, door here. And... And you. And it, like, zoomed in on me when I hit it. Okay. So this is... Yeah, we're, we're in a new area here. Um, some kind of thing up here to pick up. Don't know what it is. Looks like a space thing. Uh, Tempest units. Yay, I have no idea what the fuck that is. Um, is it... Oh, it's telling me. Wasp units are high-performance uh, personal security units of bygone age, designed to judge and respond against any antagonistic action directed towards its owner. The Wasp was once considered ideal for one-man missions. Uh, there are several types of Wasps, each having their own... This is like freaking... Um, hold on. This particular Wasp can be launched by pressing the Y button. Okay. Oh, and photo. Uh, each Wasp has a, type of, has a unique energy signature that allows it to function... As the key for unlocking specially designed lock systems, the unlocking process attached to the energy of the wasp. The unit expanded them. The short each look requires the expansion of one wasp unit. Uh, um, this, this seems a little This seems like a tedious game mechanic. Yeah, this seems unnecessary. So, but we we saw a wasp in the um, items on the or like one of the commands up there. Why it's to launch the wasp, but now we know what it is at least. But uh, yeah, I don't think I. Care for it. This is the right side, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, there's a door. Wait, this isn't where I started, is it? Nope. No. Okay. Uh, it, it, the camera got me turned around. I wasn't even sure why I was. I was afraid I was going to go back to the room I just came from. But um, no, I th yeah, this looks different. I think. Oh. Um, hey, something to shoot. It's more more glossy. This I've been attacking. Me. I just murdered it for no reason. It was just walking around. Oh, they're like coming through portals. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, uh, there. And there's another one. You shot the stairs. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm pretty close to dead, so that's the balance for the auto aim, I guess, is that it's really easy to. Like, it doesn't take very much for you to get killed. So that's kind of the balance for it. Oh, there's another one down there. Can I. Oh, it jumped up here. I was going to see if I could shoot it from up here. But, um, man, they're really passive, though. Like, it feels like I'm fighting the easy AI, not the, um, not the normal AI. Oh, well, apparently they just keep on spawning. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. I thought that would work. I'm dead. <laughs> and? Oh, man. I thought I could shoot it out of the air. That would have been cool, but it didn't work. He, like, jumped over it. Oh, I've got some more lives here. So let's just keep trekking along. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, we're in this place again. But, uh, oh, it bit me, bastard. Uh, I know, but like, I'm just, there's no reason not to just keep constantly firing while there's enemies in the room, you know? Like, if, especially since it, we don't, we, I can't find any indication of an ammo. So I'm just shooting, shooting. You dead. Shit. Yeah, see, you die, you die really easy. These ones, they were a little bit more aggressive this time, at least. They attacked me. And it took a long time for one to attack me the first time. I don't really mind burning through these lives, though. I'm not terribly anxious to, to see what awaits the end of the this hallway. Like, uh, I don't, I have no idea what you're pointing at. Why? Oh, it, it stops auto-aiming when you do the charge attack. Okay. That, um, that's useful to me. Uh. Two more hits, you're probably dead. Yeah, probably. One more hit. Yeah. Um, I Three. really wish I knew how to use my med kit. Oh, I just used the wasp. I don't, I don't even know what it is. You're dead. Yeah. Uh, oh. I really don't care. Like, it's, I'm sitting here, I can't get excited about fighting these stupid looking things. Yeah, and all of the dinosaurs make sense because they were, they look realistic. I mean, and this is, uh, these kind of look cheesy. Yeah, okay, there, there goes one. And there was at least another one on one. Yeah. Well, let's we'll see, there's a different amount of them each time. Or they just they oh, but, come at me faster. Yeah, and the thing is, there's no good way to avoid them other than jumping. Um, which completely screws up my camera, so it's not, like, jump. that useful to just jump all the time. Are they fighting each other? They're, like, facing each other. I don't know. Um, oh, jump! Uh, he, no, he was just dying. He was, I thought he was attacking, too, but he was just dying. I think we already killed the other one. Okay. There's another one. Oh, yeah, there is. Nope. Oh, that might. just jumped over me. Um... There we go. Okay. There might be another one. one yeah, there's there. one or two more down here. Um, I think. You want you die? No. Oh. No! Yeah, the the thing with the portals is misleading because you do not. Uh. I don't care. I don't there's care. The door. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Okay. Whatever. There's some like red things up there, but I don't even know what they do. I mean, if we were playing the nor normal game, we would care. Oh yeah, like, they didn't seem to heal me when I collected some before, so that, and that's about the only reason nope, I would care to collect them. Uh, I'm gonna see what's over here. There's some red button. Oh, button. Button, button, button. what's the button? Shit, it can only be opened from the terminal located overhead. Why? Why? Who designs a space station like that? Uh, video game designers? That's who. Yeah, most designers need to look for this from a um, a mechanical point of view, like, why would they do this? Yeah. Um, I just gotta get on this stupid platform here. Ta-da! I did it! Yay! Yay! Oh, I got a thingy. Yay, I got a thingy! You got a thingy! You got a thingy! It's good for jack shit. <laughs> okay. Um, terminal for opening shutters. Activate switch? Why wouldn't I? So, okay. Now this is opening. Why was that red light even down there? Just to point up that area up there to me? Apparently. Uh, I mean, I would have come up here on my own anyway, because, well, uh, Whoa! that's where the platform was. I what? Thought you die. Oh, I thought you would die. You thought I would die? I don't, I don't care. I almost want to. Oh. Am I supposed to shoot these? They're going, yeah, they're going red like the other ones. Oh, look, I got a thingy. You got a thingy. Okay. Okay, we can um, that. Oh, it closed! Oh no, I'm locked in forever! Let's see. I don't know what this go? is. Uh. Goes to here. I don't know what this place is either, but. Um, actually, you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember in Tekken 5 
there was like a, 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 a 3D platformers section where you played as Jin. No. You don't remember that? Because that's what this is reminding me of. And it's mostly just the aesthetic, but it's like it looks like that. It was I forget what it was called. It was like um, demon something. I don't remember. It was some or devil something. It was something. Oh, uh, the opening. What the fuck's going on? It's just moving back and forth. It's that's all it's doing. So uh, this camera's really fucking with me because I can't see where I'm trying to get to half the time. Oh, that does not help either. Yeah. The camera in this seems very. I wish horrible. I could just control the camera. Like, can you? No, um, mm-hmm. not that I can tell. Not, not, nothing moves the camera. Um, yeah, there's there's no way to move the camera. But did we get it? Oh yeah. Yeah, we made it over here. Oh god. Yeah, and then it immediately switches around, so I almost walk off just because the camera's suddenly in the opposite direction. Can and we that was, stand in the button. Yeah, and it, yeah. it was that way in the first one. But that was also a very different type of game. Oh, um, to... What? Okay, I just had to like dash through it before it closed. Is this? Who designs a ship where you stand on a platform to open a door? Like, uh, this is so stupid oh. <laughs> to me. Um. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting about this jetpack feature too. Like, it, it, it happens whenever I jump, but, like, I forget that I can also do this, which I should probably use that. I don't know. Okay, this is, you got a new room here. See if I'm over dead by the original Dino Crisis. Well, um, yeah, but you know what? Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, we are doing more here than the demo for the first Dino Crisis, but the first uh, Dino Crisis. what? Yeah, uh, lasers. I don't know. Um, they didn't kill me, so whatever. Um, am I supposed to go towards the globey thing? There's stairs on the other side of the globey thing. Ooh. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. This, I like, the, there's an area up here. You climb the rim on the box. Yeah, a terminal for monitoring the ship's formation change energy levels. That's fan- I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, acquired file. Oh shit, another file? Okay. The Osmandius is capable of rearranging its structure to better adapt to environmental conditions while maintaining optimum energy efficiency. Each formation change is managed by a structure-specific terminal. Uh, for further information regarding the functions and advantages of each formation change, please refer to the Osmandius crew manual. A uh, brief description of the deck sector uh, formation change follows. Deck sector slash connection. Connecting to the deck sector allows access between the star water. I have no idea what I'm reading. Um, the connection focused energy resources on the hangar deck allowing ready access to heavy-duty equipment. In addition, the increased floor space accommodates the takeoff and landing of cargo shuttles. Uh, separating the deck sector increases energy efficiency. Am I trying to do this? Um, I guess I am. Uh, something about the power station key areas of the sector. Prior to sector connection separation, appropriate precautions should be taken to ensure crew safety. Uh, formation changes may not be initiated without authorization from the captain. And all related notices and schedules must be filed with NTHR. Okay. What the fuck was in the point? Uh, terminal for operating the ship's formation change system. And now I can change the formation? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know why, but let's do it. And now we got another cutscene, okay. So this is the ship we're on. Uh, kind of, um... And it's, it's, yeah, it's uh, for ship designs, it's cool. It's still silly that it's in a Dino Crisis game. But there, we did it. We turned it into uh, the Xbox. So now, um, now what? Now, okay, formation change complete. Yay. Oh no, I broke it. I broke did it. No. You broke it, did it. What the fuck? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, it seems to be working just fine. And we've got this like this sphere still spinning around. Like I think there's a sh- what the fuck? Yeah, let's see what this does. Boop! It does nothing. It does nothing. Okay. Why would it be on top of it? I don't know. Um, if I get on top of it, I cannot get on top of it. <laughs> I, I, they might just, there we go. I'm on top of it. Nothing happens, okay. 
Yay! I got a thingy. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say that every time. Oh, no, the thingy! Uh, I got a thingy! Okay. I feel good, I'm collecting thingies, I'm breaking computers, there's a, a laser that? here. That's where I came from. Um. Yeah, you might not need to go that way. I don't, I don't know, I, I moved the ship, I might be supposed to backtrack now, because it's gonna be different, I don't fucking know. Um. Yeah, can I, should I go back? Whoa! This fucking place, I'm dead. No, no! He just walked in. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I thought about dashing forward, but before I even could, he just, like, nudged forward a little bit. Yep, you're done. Well, I find remaining zero. So I think that means this is my last time? Yes. That seems right. I'm on my last lifeline. Um. Wait, oh, wait, we what? have to do this all over again? No, why? Should we destroy these? I don't know. Just bumping into them seems to work. They don't actually do that much damage, I was just really hurt from fighting dinosaurs. At least I don't have to read all that shit again. Maybe I can skip the cutscene and then just break the computers. Man, that, that sounds like fun. Um, okay. Power. Terminal for operating function. Blah, blah, blah. Can we change something else in the room? Um, mm, no, it's not really giving me any options, just a yes or no here. So I did that. Um, Okay, I can skip it. Okay. There we go. Broke the broke the broke the thingy. Um Great break made the main computer always super. Yeah, breaking main computer seems like a good idea inside a spaceship. And you sure that's the only way to do I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like do you see any other directions? No really. Because, well, I mean we we came up here. I didn't see a door up here. I don't know. Is, is it by the terminal? Um, I didn't see anything by the terminal. I hate how it gets blurry when I dash. It makes... It hurts my head. Um... Someone's over here. Yeah, there's more thingies. The, uh... There's like a wall... And... The yeah, computer. really, there's nothing else. Yeah, there are areas that look like there might be doors to them, but they're... they're not. Um... Yeah, no, I think we're supposed to backtrack now, because we, we moved the ship, right? So it's going to be different. Um, I'm like, I still can't do anything with this that I can tell. But I've got more health now, so you should be able to handle these lasers. Um, yeah, let me shoot them. You just oh, yeah. oh, you're not on any of those. I'm not on any of those ones, but that's okay. There we go. We made it, yay. Again, why is why are those there though? We have full something. We got full something? I love having full something. Um, In the right corner. Yeah, uh it's still the same boring ass space station though. A lot of platforming. Yeah, I don't know. I, I want something to kill me by this point, you know? Alright well actually yeah, let's go back here. Um, Those things have respawned, apparently. Yeah, they came back. I'm not gonna break them again. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's something different, but I I don't think there's anything else over here. Where else were we supposed to go? Um, and I don't think there's anything different up here. You kill yourself off. We just went over there. Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm looking for things that are different because it felt like this area. I never felt like we had a good feel of how this place worked, like this side of it. Mostly because the camera keeps changing. I keep getting turned the fuck around. Um, uh, let's see. There's a terminal displaying cargo inventory. That's fantastic. Uh, front deck energy levels and. Uh, the ship's flight log, okay. If only we could read that and was, figure out what the fuck. And that was the way we came from, right? Like, on the other side, that's the yeah. platform. So... Um... Better? Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. This is... What dinosaurs. the fuck?! This is dinosaurs! Uh, we found one. Oh no, it hit-butted me. 
It used headbutt. It's super effective. Yay. Okay. Um, Apparently they spawn if it's in there too much. Or I just hadn't like properly explored this area. I don't know. Ah, uh, I forgot to jump. You better that. I'm gonna shoot it from here. Apparently you can't. Apparently not. I want auto aim if I'm not on the same level as it. No, it's I am still shoot. hitting it though. Yeah. It seems like it. Whoa, it broke. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, that should be the end. That is probably. Oh, doomed in space. I don't like this game. <laughs> I don't either. It looks very stupid. All right, let's just play the next one. This is NHL, ESPN hockey, or ESPN NHL hockey, whatever. This is a hockey game, two K four, and we're going to be playing against one another here. Let's start up a quick game. I want the ducks. <laughs> um, yeah, I get to be the mighty ducks, just like on TV. That's so great. And then you get to be the uh, the New Jersey Devils. Which actually, I saw one of the games. Yeah, because you uh, you you're from New Jersey. Yep. So uh, I really don't know. Start it's, game. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, looks like we're going to be playing at New Jersey too. Um, so you got the advantage. There's the um, the buttons if you need them. But I, I played a hockey game recently with Brandy, and I, just looking at those, it looks like it's pretty similar. Actually, to that I haven't one. played in a while, so. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be green, you're red. Uh, ah. that'll, uh, that'll oh, I have it. Yeah, you have it. <laughs> you. Um. Yeah! <laughs> uh. You. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't know either! <laughs> you, you just let the ball fly off, or the ball, the puck. Like, skate off. Um, Whee! Where are you even going? Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Ah! Uh, I'm back here, you bitch. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> ah! ah! There we go. Oh, uh, you blocked it. Okay. I don't even um, care about this. <laughs> ah, wait, I don't even know where the puck went. I don't either! <laughs> it's so easy. That's the thing with hockey games, I've noticed. It's really easy to lose track of it. Um, eh, oh. I thought I got it in for a second. I can Um, shit. <laughs> uh, I, who has it? You, you have it. I have it. <laughs> Bam! Oh, you blocked it. How'd you do that, you bitch? There we go. I don't <laughs> care. I did that on purpose to draw out your, uh, your goalie. I did that. <laughs> yeah, well, I drew, I drew your goalie out with that first shot, and then my second got hit. Are you gonna go? See? Yeah. Um... Okay, are we starting over? Oh. I think we're starting over in the middle again. Since somebody scored, which is fantastic. The score actually took place. I'm happy for that. Yeah! Um. Apparently, I'm. Okay, I. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you. I have no idea what happened there. What the fuck happened? It looks like somebody was flying for okay, a second. Okay, first of all, we're losing the puck more than anything. Yeah, that happened a lot when Brandy and I played, too. Um. Yeah, yeah. The, the puck just goes flying through the air when the goalie hits it. That's yeah. great. Um, we. Uh, well, I didn't push about. Oh, you stole it. From me. I did. Yeah. Um, I think your goalie's on top of it. Yeah. Okay, now you've you. Okay. You. All right. At least we know where the puck is. We. <laughs> oh man. Ah! That is not out one of your guys. Somebody got knocked down. I don't know how. Oh, we're back here. Okay, for some reason, we keep on doing this. That's fine. I, I don't know nothing about hockey. This could be normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't even mean to hit it that direction. It just went that way. Um, there goes... Come on. Oh. Yeah, these long shots are not... They're long shots, <laughs> so to speak. I can't even tell what's um, going on. I can sort of tell, but yeah, it's... Well, I mean, this is just like every hockey game I've ever played. All, like, two of them. But, um... Oh man. Somebody was in the way. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Yeah! Oh, something happened. Um, what is this? Was there a foul? Or are there fouls in hockey? 
Oh, somebody <laughs> fell on their ass. Is that what? Is that what we stopped? Somebody fell on their ass. <laughs> the guy accidentally hit you. You hit me. Okay, I didn't even it see hit you. someone. Oh. oh, yeah, you hit me there. That's not what I saw earlier. I didn't even see you. Okay, but um, looks like we're stopping because of that. Oh, well. good job, douchebag. I didn't uh, care. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's it's just funny. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're facing off again, like in face off, and uh, come on. Yeah. Oh no, I thought I had it, but <laughs> um. Yeah, nice block. What we got? I don't know where the. Okay. No. No. Um. Yeah. You've got to pass it to somebody. Your goalie can't score. Ooh, that was close. Good, good try. Okay. And then resets, okay. Right. Yeah, and then it resets. Um, I'm not sure why, but, uh, there we go. You've got, you've got the puck again. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm just commenting in case there are viewers who don't know. Uh, I don't know why it stopped there. I don't either. But, anyway. You're gonna win, but I really don't care. No, this, this is fun, though. I like... We're I like doing near yours. Hunting. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, because that's where it stopped was near mine. So you've got an advantage here. Ah! But, um... You fucking sneaky bastard! That's me. I'm a fucking sneaky bastard. Uh, did somebody get knocked over again? Our no, it was. Game over. Oh, intermission. All right, and first intermission. Okay, so it's like, um. Apparently that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, we we don't play a full game, but that was that was fun. I like playing sports games with friends. To be fair, when we don't, especially when we don't know how to play. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. That was fun though. I scored a, uh, a hit. I won. I guess I don't know. Not really, considering <laughs> it was intermission. I won. I'm the only one who scored. Crown breaking graphics engine. Showcase incredible realistic player faces, ice effects, cutscenes, and more. The most convincing play-by-play -play commentary... Uh, there was no commentary in uh, in the demo, but uh, they're touting it as a, a drawing point of the full game. Anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and go on to the next game, though. So this is Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. It's actually Alex playing now, uh, instead of me. Uh, this is one of the games you wanted to play on here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, did you did you play this before? Or, like when this demo was out, or how well do you remember it? I don't think I ever played this, but I remember I might have played it, but I can't really remember. It does have kind of an interesting looking style, like this robot you are right here that just popped out of uh, down here. He's really cute. Um, I like these designs. Actually, it reminds me a little bit of like uh, like Ratchet and Clank or something like that. Um, it looked like you had a couple of robot buddies. Um, this one's not your buddy, though. <laughs> uh, get some enemy robots here. So this is just, um, as you can probably tell, a, uh, a third-person shooter um, with robots. So uh, probably lots of like upgrading and customization features, I would imagine. Yep. But um, most most games with robots, that's a that's a big draw. Oh, a level two rocket launcher, nice. Blow some vapors up. Yeah, there's a big old robot up there. Um, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, now he's shooting at you. You got his attention. But, um, that level 2 ro uh, rocket launcher should help, though. So, I mean, it's that, saying reload now. It, it automatically reloads, I think. Okay, it just, it just says that. Ow! Ow. Um, well, looks like, yeah, you took his arm off, so that's, that's a, that's a step Pachinka. in the right direction. Wachinka! <laughs> Wachinka! Ah, uh, there he goes, all blown up. Nice. That's a nice. Yeah, yeah, you guys are okay. This is a pretty tough uh, guy for just wandering around here. But um, yeah. And uh, how how does this control? Like, are you are, does the aiming work pretty well? You seem to be hitting things pretty easy. Yeah, it's uh, not that hard to aim. I mean, if you're used to other shooters. The yeah. And then it looks like everything's moving really smoothly, which I appreciate when I play games like this. Um, oh. And the, the layout's kind of fun. Mm. And, um, yeah, you're picking up lots of uh, little energy things around here. And, uh, what, uh. Oops! <laughs> you just jumped right off there. Apparently, no fall damage. Well, um, that makes sense. You're a robot. Robots uh, don't take fall damage unless developers want them to. Uh, they almost fell off again there. 
So, do you know what those little uh, energy things do? What was that? Uh, oh, there's shit. another big blue guy shooting at you. Um. Yeah, don't attention, you stupid. Hey. You lost an arm. Yeah. Go him down. You've got like a little radar up there that can probably help you yeah. spot them. I think the yellow dots are you guys. I, I'm assuming because then there's like two red yeah. dots. Yeah. Um. There's, <laughs> a, there's another guy over there though. Uh, one of the little red ones. Yeah. There he goes. They go down a lot easier. Oh. Oh, there's more. They come out of these little boxes that just kind of dispense them. But, um... Oh. Oh, yeah, you got some weapons here. It says they're upgradable. I don't know how you, uh, do that. Rings, apparently. Yeah. Little, um... Well, you're a robot, Headshot. so you, they're probably, like, washers or something. Maybe money. Yeah, I don't know. What? Um, Oop. something else is shooting at you over there. Oh, what the fuck's going on? going on over there? Um, I don't know. It looks like a turret uh, or something. Or like a, oh, yeah! There was like a robot in Is it like a, a in like a box or something. Something I don't know. It looked like it looked like he was firing out of a like it was a stationary gun, like a Gatling gun or a turret yeah, or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. And he was just firing out of it. Thought for a second it was a tank, but it wasn't moving, and it's kind of small. That one looks like a tank. The one behind it. Uh, some yeah. I don't think you want to touch those energy fields. But, oh, there you go. And then okay, and then you can. Of course, get all you this. could tell when it turned red, like Beep. oh. Yeah, that's a that's a good indicator. The little uh, crosshair turns red when it's on something you can fire on. I wonder if that's one. Well, you're moving pretty quickly. You may not. That may be your top speed. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a conveyor belt here. Yep. But it's not moving. Um, looks like you're going inside the building now, which is good. I uh, wonder what kind of new things are in here. Looks like another another little floating weapon. Looks like all kinds of cool stuff actually. These little hexagon boxes all over the what place. What the hell? Tether? Uh, I don't know. Uh, control tether, it said. It's probably like a grappling hook type thing. It doesn't have ammo. Yeah. Um, I imagine it would be more effective if you were hitting somebody with it. But it looks like some kind of, like, Whoa. rope or something. Whoa! Um, <laughs> did I take it over some guy? What's going on? Yeah, I think you did. Um, yeah, it looks like the control tether lets you like, hack a robot, maybe? I don't know, but you are this giant-ass robot now, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, the guy was shooting just, at Yeah. Um, yeah, is that, the same, is that the same type you were fighting before? I think so. He looks even bigger, but that may just be our perspective, because now we're behind him instead of... Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You rock his bitch! And he has a force field. The, the other ones never use force fields, but yeah, there's another one over there. Yeah, I think that is what you are. You're one of those guys. And they go down a lot easier when you're on equal terms. Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool feature. I wonder if you can only use it on this guy, or if there's lots of different types of robots. I would assume there are other uh, enemy robots you can take over like well, this as well. I don't have high health. Yeah. Um, I wonder if if oh, you die. Shit. Big thing. I wonder if you die as this, if you just go back to being the little guy that you were before. Um, I imagine it wouldn't count as your life. Are you, yeah, it says if you hold X, you'll exit the bot. So, and it may just do that automatically when you die, or when the bot dies, I don't know. Unless you're inside it or something, which is, I'm not really sure exactly how this is working. Is he dead? I, can't tell. I don't know, he's not moving. Um, but these guys are, you know, uh, I take My them. arms are kind of wonky. Yeah, they are. Uh, you must have damage or something. Um, I imagine there's probably a way to repair them. I don't know, but yeah, you can't fire, you can't hit them for shit. You might want to just exit it out of him and go back to your normal size. Um, it says losing signal. Okay, so it, signal lost. Okay, now you're now you're back to being this guy. Okay, so that's how that works, and you are just right back where you were when you fired the control tether. Okay. So that's that's really cool though. Um, I I'd be interested to see really? how that would work <laughs> in the one. Is that the one you were in? I think that's uh, the robot you were. Like, oh, and the tank's back, shit. Yeah, I think it is, because his arms are shooting off to the sides, too. You have, um, got something you can take these guys down with? There you go. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, but the, t the tank was moving, too, I noticed. It wasn't gone, like we thought it might have been. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you got blown apart, man. Why well, thought I destroyed that fucking thing. I don't know. Uh, but oh, you, you had a back. checkpoint. So, I wonder if, I wonder if this is kind of like, um, 
Oh, uh, what's a good example? I think, um, I don't know, the robot's back here. I was about to say, I was wondering if this was, like, uh, like Bioshock or something, where you just, res when you respawn, it's not, it's not starting over, it's just that a new, like, copy is being made. Alright, uh, so a new robot's built at the, at the checkpoint, and then you just keep going with the same amount of damage done, but it looks like you're starting over, uh, all the way. Because, uh, all these Come robots on, are back. Jimmy. I cannot shoot my gun. Okay. Well, you, you're shooting them now. Um, I don't know why I'm not hitting anyone. Well, there they go. Maybe maybe you can't fire through your shield? Is that possible? Like, the shield works both ways? I've seen I've seen shield mechanics that work that way before. Because um, you're hitting them fine now. I bet that was it. But, uh... And the tank, they haven't brought the tank out yet. Uh, I was hoping if they did, you could be able to take it out before you had to switch back to the little guy. But you're, um, you're cleaning out a lot of these, these red guys, which is good, because there's, there's a fuck lot of them. <laughs> Dropping all these rings everywhere. Apparently when they get knocked down. Apparently what? Apparently when they get a lot of damage, uh, they uh, can't shoot straight. Yeah, um, we noticed that before, uh, that your arms were, like, shooting off to the side, and I, oh! I assumed it was because there was some damage in the arm joints or something. Because it was still happening after you got out of him, he was still shooting off to the side when he was shooting at you. But, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the tank. But you're hitting it with lots of missiles. That should, uh, that should help. Gotta take care of that guy. There he goes. I'm gonna stop firing until I fucking see him blow up. Yeah, can you, um... Can you collect those rings? Or do you have to be the little guy to collect rings? Um, no. Them. I'm sure you'll be able to pick them up when you're back to inside your regular body. But right now, uh... Right now you're this big motherfucker. Yeah, it's hard to tell if the tank's even taking damage because it's not reacting. But it wasn't moving or reacting before and then it started shooting at you when you went back to your body. So who knows? Um, there it moved a little bit, but... Yeah. You, 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 there's probably some kind of explosion. Like everything else explodes when you really? shoot it. Um. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> this guy. Oh, you're losing your signal now. I don't know if it's a distance thing or what. Okay. Really? Yeah, I guess it is because you moved back and you, you got more of your signal back. What is that thing? Oh, uh, it's blown up. Whatever it was. <laughs> Yeah, you're causing all kinds of chaos and distraction. Um, well, you're losing your signal now. You're gonna have to fight this guy when, um, when you go back into your body, because he's gonna go back into normal. Okay. Yeah, look at that arm, like, flopping around beside you. It's gotta be damaged or something. That's gotta be what's going on. It looks disconnected from your joint. I can't hurt myself. Oh. Yeah. But, um, if you can blow this tank up, that'd be, that would probably help, but I don't... Well, it doesn't look like there's anybody up in the, the like, little gun area. Yeah. You okay. might just have to take it down when you're back to normal size. Just don't let it blow you up. You might, uh... Can you get past the door? I don't think so. Yeah, signal lost. Okay, you're back to yourself now. But you should be able to pick up all that stuff from those enemies you defeated. I wonder, I wonder what that was. That core charge thing? Did, I don't know. There. I don't know. But... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Look at all these! Look at all these guns lying all over the place. Oh man, you, you wiped out so many people when you were the big robot. That was that's a that is a really cool feature. I like that. Um, I, I I I'd be curious to see how it would play out in the full game. How many different types of robots you could hijack like that? But um, this poor guy, you took over his body, you controlled him, and now you're gonna kill him. Yeah, I think this tank's destroyed. It's not even—it's not attacking you even now. What? Oh. Jeez, he's hurting you a lot, though. Um, come on, you got this guy. You can take him. Uh, just uh, there you go. Got uh, his legs are still walking around, but you got everything that was shooting at you, so that's good. And um, ah! oh, oh, then no, those are your friends, your uh, your allies. <laughs> These uh... freaking legs—they're really funny. Um. It's it's interesting the way the damage is metered out. It seems to be very segmented, oh, wow. based on different limbs and stuff. Um, like uh, the 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 way the damage is dealt out is seems like there's there was a lot of 
emphasis put on that because the yeah. robots get damaged in specific ways. Um, and and again, I, I think that's cool. I think you can only hold a certain amount of ammo. Is there any, well, yeah, yeah. I noticed you walking through guns before, but I think you can pick up any number of those uh, energy orbs, whatever they are. I don't know what they what they're used for, but I think they're health. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that's why it wasn't blowing up because you can take Wee. over it. Yeah. So uh, I guess we're gonna barrel on ahead as this tank here, which yeah. is cool. Um, Am I going the right way? <laughs> I think so. Never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. You are. The door's open here, and you hit a checkpoint. So yeah, this is definitely the right way. Don't see any enemies yet, but I'm sure some are gonna pop out at you any second. Um, yeah, there's a little guy over there. Um, I'm not sure what that is you're shooting at. I know there's a little red guy there. Yeah. Um. I wonder if you can just run over some of those smaller enemies. I don't know. Um, oh, it's another tank. That's what that was. Yeah, you might want to... I want to take that out. Uh, <laughs> retreating? <laughs> retreating. Tank! Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> uh, yeah. I blew up top of that building. This looks like a fun game, though. I think um, of, the, of the, the few that we played on this disc so far, this definitely seemed like the most fun. Um... It is interesting that the um, you have AI partners in this. Um, it would be really cool if there was like an actual. Uh, oh, it looked like one of you guys was dead. Um, but it would be really cool if you could have like a co-op type ah! feature or something. Yeah, there's lots more of these now. Um, yeah, you can just run over them with the tank. That's good to know. Um, can't run over the other tank though. Although it's not moving, you may. Okay, have, this I think you may. Oh, what's going on? Is your con the control is not working right? Well, you're looking at a certain distance, you and you look the other way. Yeah. Um. Okay. You okay. What do I do? Well, um, there's still a couple more enemies around. You might want to take out. Oh. Oh, I think I have to get out of the tank. <laughs> I don't think you'll have to get out of the tank, or maybe to move forward, you will. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm forward. Move forward. I think. But uh, right now you're just crushing guys. There you so go. Um, probably X? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, is this the next place to go? Nope. Or, no, that's where the that's where the enemies were coming from. You can always walk in those, but it's not, um... This, this, this might be thing. it, though. Um... Dosh! Yeah, there's another big guy there. <laughs> you can take him. You've taken out a few of those guys now. <laughs> you just want to shoot him. Okay. Um, something else is shooting at you over there, too. You gotta be wary of, but... Oh no! I'm gonna die! Don't die, dude. Uh... Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, and then just don't let this little guy kill you, that'd be embarrassing. There you go. Alright, so... How do you heal? Have you noticed what items heal you? This? I yeah, think. okay, so yeah, you wanna pick up those. Um, there's a few of them lying around here. Apparently I can get a new tank. Yeah, if, um... But if that is the way we want to go, it won't fit. Um, it will go through there. Yeah. Did you see the generator for those uh, those lasers? Yeah, there you go. Um, so we should be able to go that way. And did you blow it up all the way? Did you get... Yeah. Yeah. Is there maybe another one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so we Ooh. can we can look and see if there's a, another one. There's some... Really? Okay. <laughs> Uh, what's over on the other side of this building? Because it looks like you can go behind it, dude. I know. Okay, well, why aren't you then? That way? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if you can go that way, but it looked like you could. Um, there's an enemy outside here. That's on your map there. I have a slingshot. <laughs> you have a slingshot. Yeah, it looks like there's a little area you can go here, but I don't know if there's anything over here. Oh, good Um, well, there's a healing thing. That's nice. And um, I was hoping there might be another generator or something, but it doesn't look like it. Really? What do <laughs> Yeah, that, um, it doesn't seem like the the environment is destructible, but you can... Yeah, but you can break lots of robots, which I'm gonna is make nice. Sure. What are you going to... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just shoot in there? Just blindly? Okay. What well, are you? Is there something in there? Yeah, probably not anymore. Yeah. 
I mean, that's... Yeah, that's where the other generator is. Oh, I just showed the generator, you know. Yeah. I was going to ask if that's where the other one was, but yeah. And it looks like the, the shields are down now, so you should be able to go that way if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and um, there's like a another conveyor belt thing, but this one's moving. <laughs> you just shoot it. Apparently, it's undestructible. Yeah. yeah, like like most of the environment here, you can't destroy it, but you can get um another orb and yeah. uh, it looks dangerous up yeah. there. <laughs> oh man, you got stuck underneath it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there's really nowhere else to go. Well. I mean, surely there's somewhere we haven't looked. But. Well. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> this seems dangerous, but it might be the right way to go, yeah. I, I think this, I is, this is as good an idea as any. So, yeah, here Ultra. we go. Oh! Uh, well, it says press A to continue, but yeah, it looks like that's the end of the demo. Oh, what? Uh, it's probably just going to take us back to the menu here. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the demo. That was fun, though. That was cool. Um. Quite long, or yeah, but uh, I think um, anybody who likes that sort of game would have fun with that. It seemed it seemed fun to me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the next game then. Yeah. This is a uh, Midtown Madness three, as it says only on Xbox. Uh, I don't I don't really I haven't heard of this franchise mostly because I didn't have an Xbox Classic. Um, but you you recognized it when you saw it. Yeah, I heard something called Midtown Madness, but it might be another game that has the same title. Yeah, you think so? So we've got three modes. very generic. Yeah, we've got three mode types here. We, we loaded it up earlier and it didn't, let, uh, the multiplayer doesn't, isn't available in the demo. But um, let's see, we've got uh, compete uh, to the finish line, so like a race. Um, and this is a race against time. Time is adjusted based on your car choice. And then uh, take any car for a cruise. And I don't think we want to do that. Let's let's do this checkpoint one. That sounds, um, that sounds doable. Uh, See, we need to purchase the full version to play Washington D.C., but we can we can play Paris now. And um, yeah, this is um, I don't know. Let's just go with the default here, and uh, we can play as an ambulance or the new Beetle R. Let's do the ambulance. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, look at this! <laughs> All ambulances. That's so. Because I chose ambulance. Every single car here is an ambulance. That's so great. <laughs> We're off here on our our big street ambulance race. Um, these other ones all have names, which is interesting, like Madeline or Matilda. Um, actually, they're they're French names, which makes sense since we're in Paris. Um, oh shit! Well, got a. Um, you just hit a civilian? Maybe. You know what though? This actually the way we're driving here kind of reminds me of when you're like free driving in Grand Theft Auto or some of the games like that. Um, and missing that turn really fucked me up. I'm way behind everybody now. Um, Oh jeez, the van almost hit me. Um, it is kind of interesting to have this the street racing oh. though, because um, there are there are, well there are other cars and, and there are people. I, I see it, Alex. Uh, and um, it's just it's just different than like a, a traditional race, you know. Especially since we're ambulances, shit. Um, I'm going a different route here. Probably not the right route. It said to turn right there, but uh, I don't think that's right. Because all the other cars are going this way. I'm just following them. I don't trust this arrow. It's pointing in a different direction. Um, maybe because I didn't take the desired path? I don't know. Um, uh, I was hoping maybe it was the checkpoint. When I passed that checkpoint, it would reset. But it doesn't seem that way. Um, anyway, we're just. I'm just going to follow uh, Madeline here. And just... Oh, Matilda's finished already. Jump... Oh my god, they got through fast. Um, where's, uh... Whoa, shit, I don't... Yeah. I lost track of her. No, I have no idea where the finish line is. They're done. Yeah, oh, crap. That sucks. I don't even know where, where I'm going now. This is the downside to not having a traditional racetrack. You get turned around or get on the wrong road, and I have no fucking idea where the end of this race is. No offense, it looks like your car's very floaty. Like, everything else, you can hit a car and... Nothing bad happens. What do you mean? Well, hit a car. Oh, um, I don't want to hit a car. Um, it's po partly because I'm big, you know? I'm like twice the size of all the other vehicles on the road. Okay, I've got... The arrow seems to be back. I don't know, I'm just gonna 
follow the arrow. Everybody else finished by now. Um, I don't know what happened. I just lost. Man. Hey, <laughs> Raise the hill. <laughs> ah, man. That was weird, the way it worked. But um, that's the game. It's certainly an interesting idea. I don't know if how much I like having like a free roaming type environment to race in because it's so easy to get like turned around if you miss a turn or something, and then I have no idea where the fuck to go. But um, it says next race. I wonder if we can race somewhere else. Mm, probably not. It looks like um, I don't know. We'll see here what what it does because that that did go by pretty quickly. But um. I don't really have any interest in doing the blitz mode, which is like a time attack mode. I imagine it's just, um... Oh, yeah, okay, this is this is different. So we've got a chance for redemption here, I suppose. Um, starting way back at the back here, but, uh... <laughs> we'll start peeling out here. Uh, this time, hopefully, I won't get turned around like that. I don't even know how exactly that happened to me. I just missed a turn that I don't even feel like I could have made. And, um, shit. <laughs> Like, like that. Oh man, this tree. This fucking tree. Okay. And, um... No, I know, I Yeah, that's actually kind of weird that I'm not in last place. I know, let's see. Um, but uh, I hit a chair point right, there. Right. Yeah, I know, I know. I, just, I gotta drift, is what I gotta do. I gotta do the Tokyo drift here, or the Paris drift, whatever. See? Um, if I hit the fucking fan, it doesn't push it out of the way. Like, yeah, because ambulances are huge. So, they, we just... It would take it would take a, a lot to slow down an ambulance, I imagine. Um, it still slows me down a little bit when I hit the cars, but not not as much as it would if I was uh, myself a car. Um, yeah. It's saying that the the air is a little misleading. It's telling me to turn way um, way sooner than I uh, than I was re really should have been looking for it. But we're uh, neck and neck here with Jean Jean Michel. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh! Oh, what? Uh, I'm going this way, okay. Fuck, this fucking tree! Ah! God damn! This, the trees! My god! Everywhere! Fucking... Um, no. Yeah, the, uh, here. the arrow is way sooner. Like, it tells me... Fuck. This arrow is sh worthless. It's fucking worthless. It's it's telling... It, you know, like, it's indicating to me that I should turn, like, really sharply. Um... When, uh, when I really, uh, I'm not even to yeah. a turn yet. So it, like, following it's of no value at all. But, um, still ahead of Paul somehow. I don't, I don't know what the fuck Paul's doing. He's behind this sorry ass performance, but, um, yeah. Yeah, if I, uh, if I just keep going, at least I can finish the race, I think. We should what the? What the? I'm in a, I'm in a, what? What is happening? Did they actually add funny. I just drove into a building, so that's a thing in this game. That's interesting. I can actually see the next checkpoint here, so I'm just gonna make a sharp turn here and drive on through. There we go. And um, looks like the next one's up here. It would make more sense with that. That's not the way the arrow's telling me to go, but should I turn around? You think? Mm. I'm gonna. Somehow you're. I don't trust this arrow. It seems so shady. Um. Your first place, second Hold place. On. What the fuck? How did that? What's going on? What happened to everybody else? That... Is it because they're getting those stupid things? I don't know. I'm stuck again, though. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening. There's no way I should be in first place. This is fucked up. <laughs> um, but okay, I'm not in first. Jesus, it's so hard. When you hit something, it's really hard to... What are you stuck on? I'm stuck on the curb. I can't get over this curb. Fucking hell, man. Um, like, this is ridiculous. How, like, I have no control at all over how I'm moving right now. Um, god damn. That was really frustrating. I don't... Uh, I, I didn't care for how awkward that was. Like, I, I know I'm, a, I'm an ambulance, but my god. That was... that was shit. Oh, they're gonna get last, yes. Yeah. That... I don't know how I got anywhere other than last to begin with, as much as I was getting stuck on things. Like, everybody else must have just died for a couple minutes or something. Oh, that was the freaking thing. Whatever. I don't care. I'm mad at this game now. After getting me stuck on that curb... You got stuck on a lot of things. 
Yeah, I'm. Uh, look at look at this. Uh, I got mad. I am I am frustrated with this game now. That was dumb. Now I gotta drive into oncoming traffic because I missed my turn. And this is what I was talking about with like the free roaming thing. Like, it's an interesting idea, but it's really more frustrating than anything. Because, like, if I miss my turn, I want to just crash. I don't want to go driving on the wrong fucking road. That's annoying. That's that's just really annoying. But, oh man, the race isn't over. I thought that was the end, but yeah, race failed. And I go driving off into the building again. Uh, I wonder how many races there are in Paris, though. Like, there's only two locations apparently. Yeah, there's well, there was Paris and Washington D.C., but this was also Paris. So yeah, there's the next race. So it's like a circuit. Well, so it's probably f like four races. The reason I ask is look at all the two locations they mentioned: Paris and Washington D.C. only. Yeah, and but Washington D.C. is not in the. Um, yeah. Not here, but there, it is a there's a full circuit. Maybe it's, it's talking about downloadable content. Maybe the um, there are other areas that you could download. I don't know. Um, I don't really know how good DLC was, or... but um, yeah. Oh God. Yeah, I am um, starting back. No offense. It does seem like you might just be doing the same game type of world. Well, I mean, it's the same game type. Yeah, it's a race, but it's it's a circuit because we're we're racing in different parts of Paris. So it's um. You know, like in like in Mario Kart, there, there's a, a different cup, and then there's a bunch of different tracks on the cup, or, or any racing game really. Just about all of them that I played it's are like coming that. Up. Um, what is this? This looks like the checkpoint. What is this? That is. In That's the, the world. fucking matrix. Is this the ma There's just a wall of matrix there. It looked like the checkpoint. Yeah. If they're oh. gonna put, if they're gonna put shit like that in the game, don't make it the same color as your checkpoint walls, because that's again, that's just frustrating. Um. Like, I appreciate that now there are walls stopping me from going the wrong way, but, like, it looks like... Oh, jeez. Fuck this. I'm getting more and more upset with this game the more I play it. Like, it's getting... It's getting ridiculous, really. Like, look... Where am I even supposed to go? Look at this stupid arrow. Um, up here, I guess? The arrow's not very accurate. Um, For no reason, uh, you keep on going to different ones. For example, there was like three of them in your front of you. Yeah, I don't. I, I have no idea how the this is really supposed to I work. I don't know either because it doesn't make logical sense. Yeah, well, and like the but in the last one there was that. Miss. What the? Where am I supposed to be going? Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. I just came from this way. Okay, um, but like in the last one. The, the arrow was telling me to go the opposite direction of a checkpoint, then I drove through that checkpoint and suddenly I was in first. You know? It's weird shit like that. I have no idea how the, this works. The more I play it, the more it confuses me. Like, it seems so straightforward that to start it with. Really but, doesn't. but, yeah, it's it's confusing. It must be the checkpoint, but maybe if it would... I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we played it a bunch more, it would make more sense, but... Now it's got me driving through the middle of this park here. Um... Bouncing all over this shit. Oh, what the fuck? This. Don't tell me to drive through a building, you stupid fucking arrow. There's a. We're going all over the fucking place. What is this shit? Like, seriously, this is messed up. This isn't even the checkpoint I'm supposed to be going to. I just went through it anyway. Um. I think it is annoying when it tells you to go through buildings and some shit. I mean. Paul has finished. Uh, fuck you guys. Knowing what the fuck's going on, I have no idea where I'm even supposed to be going. Like, look, look at this stupid arrow. I hate the arrow. That's the thing. Um, okay, everybody else is finished. I hate the arrow because it, it's never right, you know? It's pointing in the general direction, but the thing is, it's not really helping when there's a big map. Yeah, it's a it's this big open map, so it's not... Um, there's lots of places I can go. Like, I can... I could drive anywhere here, because it really is like the like driving in Grand Theft Auto or something. It's just a big map that uh, I really can drive on. Yeah. There, there's another checkpoint. Still haven't finished. Um, uh, the I don't. I just. I'm really like the. I like the idea, but I don't think I like the way they executed it. Um, there. I don't like that I crash every time I finish the race either. That's a little. 
it's stupid, but... Um, okay, looks like we're done. It's, it's not a next race. But that was... Um, uh, I, I got really mad at it and frustrated, and that's really just because I don't get it. Uh, I think if I'd played it some more, it probably would have been fine. I'm not a big race fan, but at least it's different than like the typical racetrack stuff. So I'll give it points for that, but I don't think I'd want to play it again. It didn't do anything to impress me here. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next game here. So this is Outlaw Volleyball. Uh, probably the game on this disc I'm least interested in playing. And that's saying something, considering there's a hockey game and a racing game on here. But um yeah, this uh we rented this game when we were kids, or in high school. Because, well, it was a volleyball game with a sexy cover and we were guys in high school. And it, um, it's pretty disappointing, to be honest. Like, obviously it's really, the, the female characters are really sexed up and stuff, but it's not a sexy game. Like, like, well, obviously the, that character's not sexy, but, the, well, first of all, it's kind of offensive. The, like, the, there's an Asian guy named Dojo, and the, the characters are all stereotypes, and just the aesthetic is really ugly. Like, I'm not attracted to any of these women. Uh, even I kind of am, but that's well, me. Like, they're, they're thin, and they have, like, traditionally symmetrical faces, but, like, look at look at the way they're animated, and just the way they dress. There's nothing, there's nothing sexy about any of this to me. I don't know. It's just, it's sleazy and offensive. This That's the, like, mascot character there, Killer Miller. He's the, featured on the, the game, uh, the box cover. And this is one of, like, four sports titles. There was um, two golf games, this one, and then a tennis game that were all in the Outlaw series and all had basically the same roster uh, of, like, really offensive stereotypes, which uh, yeah, pretty much all of these are. Um, either they're a racial stereotype or they're a cultural one, like, like there's a dumb hippie and then, like, I don't even know what the fuck El Suave is supposed to be, but they're, they're just... None of these characters are likable, first of all. Like, not really. I don't. I don't really want to be any of these people, and that's a big problem when you're making a game. If not one of your characters is even remotely likable or relatable in any way, because they're all they're all parodies of stereotypes, right? Like this is a bit of one. Yeah, th this character was a stripper. I know that, and um, like, n yeah, there's nothing. There's just nothing likable about any of it, and. <laughs> And on top of that, it's a shitty volleyball game, so this it's just a bad game. Yeah. Uh, I was talking with uh, Dylan in an, a previous episode about about this game, and it's we're going to do an exhibition here. Uh, we can be on the same team, but um, I think it would be better if we're on different teams. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be on different teams here, and that way we'll both have a calm partner and a... Um, and, and, and then we'll be playing as well. And we're going to split ourselves up. We talked about this before. We'll split ourselves up gender-wise. Um, so I'll be uh, Shawnee and El Suave, which are slightly more interesting to me than Lizzie and Leon, who Alex has taken over there. Yeah. But, like, really, none of them are... Like, I don't want to be any of these people. Like, look at these assholes. They're all douchebags. And, you yeah, know... Only one location, though. Yeah. Um, we're going to play Mode Classic here. Um... And go ahead and get get this over with. It says when hitting over the net, the longer you press and hold A button, the uh, the better your shot will be. So that's something to keep in mind. I oh man, just just look at just look at everything here. It's, I don't know. It, They're all bikini, it's just, skin type bikini. Yeah, everything here is just a huge turn off for me, and that's um that's that's saying something. I just uh but. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it our best shot. I know that there's going to be a little bit of a um, I think at the start where they talk about the characters here. Yeah, we've got this announcer guy. I'm gonna go ahead and let you just hear this idiot ramble for a little bit. absolutely nothing. Fans flock here for the exciting play and to catch a buzz off the rising bus fumes. So grab yourself a seat and remember, here at Tar Beach, peeing off the roof is strictly encouraged. See, that's this game's idea of humor. Circle the wagons, boys, because this Native American beauty is on the warpath. 
Easily dispatching opponents, she makes Custer's last stand look like a tea party. Armed with nothing more than grit, determination, and a great set of tomahawks, Shawnee is ready to exact some vicious vengeance on the volleyball court. Okay, the tools I'll need to kick ass are this sharp thingy, and this whatchamacallit, and this something or other. Oh, and this flying animal! Let's hunt moose! Nothing likable about any of these people. Alien from South if you don't really see this there's gorgeous there's hunk of a disgust. man prides himself on being himself. However, when facing an opponent on the volleyball court, El Suave will do whatever it takes to grind and thrust his way to victory. Yeah, El Suave's gimmick is just that he's good looking. And is well, sexual. To El yeah. Suave. Hold your applause. Please worship me in silence. Did I hear someone breathe? Have to no respect. Oy vey, schmear. All these freaking characters are just stereotypes. Born and raised in the yeah. grimy back alleys of London, Lizzie is one tough There's not lady. one original She's character out. She's and lacks any semblance of nope. class. And those are her good qualities. When Lizzie isn't busy piercing some part of her body or waxing herself raw, She's out spiking opponents with a volleyball. So put your hands together and give it up for this mosh pit maven, Lizzie. All right, I'm coming. Don't shoot your ward. So who wants to play? No one saw that, right? Yeah. A former All-Pro who excelled at football, baseball, and beating the snot out of coaches, umpires, and fans, Leon has been thrown off some of the best sports teams in the world. Leon prides himself on being a vicious volleyball player and an all-around mean mofo. So let's give a really quick round of applause for Leon before he gets his ass booted out of this game too. Time for me to get busy. Hey, go shoot something else. So like, even um, no, I'm Leon. Even when they, guys. yeah, with the guys, that's great. Even when they had a character that, while offensive in how much of a stereotype she was, was kind of interesting, like Shawnee. Just by virtue of being like ethnic, oh. um, yeah, I fucked that up. They still they they screw it up and still make her unlikable by having her open her mouth and just be a complete ditz. And the same goes for really all of them. Like even oh, if this is this, yeah, I'm serving. Yeah, even if they sounded like they might would have been interesting. Oh, I'm not gonna um, fuck up. Good. And really, none of them are interesting at all. But oh no! Oh, oh, you're lucky your your partner saved you there for a second, but it still went to us. And the way this works, and I don't know if this is how regular volleyball works, but it's just to time, and then whoever has the most points at the end wins. <laughs> yeah, whoever has the most points at the end will uh, have it. Okay, so this is uh, my serve. Oh, oh, I didn't, yep, I didn't oh. hold it long enough. Oh, ah, ace! Team 1's a point. Yeah, I'm really good at this game. I don't know if you can tell, but... Uh, <laughs> I just didn't react at all. Like, oh. Because you didn't think it was going to go over the net, neither did I, to be honest. It didn't look like it would have, but it, yeah, so it did. Bad. Um, oh, I'm serving again. Okay. Um, there, yay! Okay. Uh, um, oh shit! It, Woo! It looked like it was gonna go further back, but then it moved way farther ahead. So I, I didn't react in time. Uh, I don't want to see these characters happy. Don't show me them celebrating. Okay, um. Oh, I'm not serving. Yeah, Thank God! Now your comp partner is serving, so the serve should be a little bit better. But, um. Thanks. Oh! oh. Well, it's just because the comm knows how to play the game. We oh. we really don't. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fast ball. I think it's going to come down to our, our uh, partners, mostly who scores the most on this. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Because um, ne neither yeah. of us really yeah. know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, nope, teammate, go it. Yeah, okay. You got it? Whoa, where is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Teammate, good. Um, Whoa. Hit it, hit it. Okay. Um... <laughs> Alright, we're actually keeping the ball in the air for a while here. Oh, I... Again, my partner saved me like yours did you earlier. Um... Oh, shit. Oh, what? Oh, man, I hit it the wrong way. Yeah, uh... This isn't really that much fun. Like, it's as fun as any other volleyball game I've played with, but it has all the drawbacks of being completely tasteless. Oh, and I'm serving. Yeah, you're serving now. <sighs> yeah, um... Whoa. Well, I don't know why I don't hit it harder. There we go. That's better. I, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, okay. Saved and then... Nice. Okay. I think... Oh, I thought I had it there. Whoa! Oh, I thought I had that. Damn. I keep thinking I'm going to hit it, but then I don't. 
Yeah, it's just that I think the the, the reaction time is a little weird. Um, it, yeah. it would probably just take some getting used to. I'm not gonna like I, I don't want to give this game any like benefits or, or anything, but it's probably just more being unused to it than the actual quality of the game in terms of that. But um, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're doing okay here. I think we, we've kind of picked it up. Um, that uh, that hold the button down to hit it harder thing was a good tip at the at the menu. I wouldn't have thought to do it that way, but um, yeah, we're managing to keep it alive for quite a long time here. That's um, something at least. Yeah. Okay, this might go on for a while. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's like looping now. Now that we know how to play, so it's going to go on until one of us fucks up. <laughs> that's the only um. Well, yeah, that's the that's the only way anyone's going to score now. Is if is if we just mess up on hitting this because we've got like a pattern going. You just whoa! You hit the net. I hit the net. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. All right. Um. I, yeah, see, there's some something went wrong, and that's the only way it was going to stop. I'm fine with it that way, though. Um, but no, I fucked up. Oh, I didn't fuck up. Yeah, no, you, you hit it over. That's good. Um, now we're going to be in another endless loop, probably. But, um... Oh, yeah. Uh... The, yeah, and it's going to go this way for, like, ever. But... Um... See if I can uh, change things up a little bit. No, nope, didn't help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah. <laughs> just tossed it right back. Oh, to you. I had oh, to crash there. my eye. <laughs> well, and we we broke the pattern, so that would that probably threw you off too. That we weren't going the same pattern we had been going in. I don't know why I didn't toss it to my partner like we had been. I, I really don't get it. But there we go. That's a that's a pretty good serve, I think. Um, yeah, just. Send it back. Now we're back in this this rut. Uh, and okay, so this is kind of a problem with the gameplay here. Oh, how repetitive this is! Yeah, don't don't beat yourself up. Like I, this this we could if we had um like the patience for it, we could do like an endless loop of that, and that would be boring as fuck, you know. But I think that's how. Probably a lot of games between experienced players would go in this, uh, if experienced players do exist, because that would imply somebody actually played this game more than once, which seems impossible to me. But um, like this, this loop we've got, like look at this, it just goes until somebody like has to scratch their eye or something. Um, and uh, th this is a problem. Like no other volleyball game I've played has been this repetitive. And I've played some pretty repetitive ones, but usually they're at least a little bit variants. But this is... Oh! Yeah, I, I hit it as hard as I could, but it just went straight instead of going up. I don't know. I think that might be the last. Yeah, we might have lost. That's fine, whatever. I really don't care. No! Oh, uh, this is match point. Okay. okay. So, th I guess whoever scores this will But win. the thing is, this is very tedious, so... Yeah, like, I don't care. I just want it to be over. Um, yay, oh. it's over! Okay. No, you have to score one more point. Okay, because now we're tied, right? Yeah, we're tied. Okay. Well, fuck. We have to. We still have to play this game. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'm not gonna ask you to throw the game so it'll be over quicker. But you know, let's wrap this up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like here we go again, right? It's the same fucking thing. Uh, I I don't even know what to say. Like, look at look at how repetitive this is. It's ridiculous. It's even telling me where you're gonna hit it. Yeah, the the little indicator on where it's gonna land. I mean, it's useful, but um, it, it makes it really easy. Like, the only time any of us have missed after we figured out how to play, is just because we we just hit the wrong button or or didn't hit it hard enough or something. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Jeez! Well, there we go. Okay, Alex won. But, like, that was kind of a crapshoot. We could probably play this a hundred times and it would never... It would always just be random. Is it still going? Uh, my... my part... Oh, oh my really? god. Oh, how... Oh, man, I thought that was it. This Fuck, might we're be... we're still playing it. Whatever. Uh, ah! 
<laughs> uh, but like, anyway, what I'm saying though is that no matter who wins here, it's gonna be a crapshoot. Like, there. Okay, now he said it's all over. Like, we could play this a hundred times and it would never, like, there's no skill involved. Yeah, it's, it's just whoever fucks up. And that could happen to anybody. Yeah, I scratched my nose, or... Yeah, it's... There, there's no, like, talent involved in playing this game. At all. Yeah, so, like... I mean, if we kept on doing that, like, you score, then I score, you score... We could have been here for another, like, we could, ten minutes. Yeah, we could play a round that would last forever. Yeah. Um, that's the end, though. I'm... I'm so done. I don't want to play this game anymore. Yeah. Let's um. Let's move on to what I believe is our last game. So yeah, this is our last game, uh, Voodoo Vince. And once again, Alex is at the helm. And this will actually be the second time we played this because something went wrong with our recording the first time. So we gotta we gotta do it again. Yeah. But um. But before we started though, you you had mentioned that this was actually one of the games you wanted to play on this disc and you had wanted to play it before. Yeah, it looked really interesting. Yeah, and um, after having seen him play it once, I, I gotta agree, it's got an interesting aesthetic. The uh, the thing here is, it's a it's a 3D platformer, and um, you play as a voodoo doll named Vince, obviously, and it's it's got kind of some some wisecracking humor, um, and it the, the the humor was kind of funny, and the the aesthetic's interesting. It's set in uh, New Orleans, obviously, since it's it's voodoo, that's generally the go-to place. Yeah, and there, there's our title character, Vince. He's a, uh, he's cute. I like his design. I, I wish he didn't have the one huge eye. It's a little weird to me, but um, it works well for his deadpan expression. Okay, we have an opening video and highlight video, which I don't know why, and the demo. Yeah, and that's it, of course. But yeah, and the um, the highlight video plays after you complete the demo, so yeah, we're gonna see it anyway. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and play this demo though, and, and take a take a look. There's our controls, but I think Alex has them down pretty yeah. good right now. Yeah. Um, it's going to show us anyway in a bit. Yeah. Hopefully we should be able to clear through this a lot quicker uh, than we did the, the time that it didn't get on camera. Um, and even though it showed us the controls, uh, here it's showing them to us again. And I thought this was weird. And later in the level, it'll actually tell us some of these controls a, a third time. I don't know why. Like, obviously this game's aimed at kids due to just the... Car cartoonish nature of it, but um, I think even kids can remember, you know, simple game controls. That's um, a little bit interesting, but yeah. <laughs> this is a, a move you didn't use a whole lot the first time through, but it's uh, uh, some kind of diving headbutt. Oh, it's not more. Yeah. Um, the enemies here are mostly frogs, and I guess that's because we're New Orleans. Um, yeah, here's a voodoo icon. And it'll, um, each one gives you a different power, basically. And the way the voodoo powers work is Voodoo Vince mutilates himself, and then the shockwave goes out, and however he mutilated himself happens to everybody else around him. Yeah. So it's, um, it's basically a good way to clear out a whole room full of enemies, and we'll probably demonstrate that right here. There's a whole bunch of them. So, uh, when they get around you. them all in a nice group. Yeah. Get them, getting them all around you, and then just watch this. He just. He pales himself a whole lot, and then bam. Same thing happens to all of them. But, uh, some of these that we saw are really graphic. Like, that one's pretty tame, but a lot of them are really graphic, considering you're killing, uh, frogs, like, live animals. Um. Yep. But, uh, and, and we'll, we should get to see a couple. Yeah, there's a cutscene here, uh, where we meet the bad guy. And he seems interesting. But, uh, yeah, there he is. Big glowing head guy. And <laughs> he's got this evil laugh. And, uh, his name is Cosmo the Inscrutable. And like most villains, he wants to take over the world. That's not, that's not too, uh, too shocking. But he wants to see who's gonna oppose him. And, uh, he's, he's gonna be a little bit underwhelmed, I think. I love the way he just scoots out there. He really is kind of a cute character for as ugly as he is. <laughs> not a, not the least bit impressed, as you can see. He looks like a Muppet, though. The the bad guy, that he, it's mostly the mouth, but he looks like a Muppet yeah. to me. Um, with his little fez hat and his goatee, but, yeah. I'll claw 
Yeah. He um he mentioned a, a madam. I already forgot the name. Some other character though, and that's I guess the person who made us, and also the person we're trying to rescue. Um, you know, we've got a little bit of comedy. As you can see when he's when he's doing this comedy bit here, he uh he has eyes all of a sudden. I guess because he's less intimidating. He's got these pupils, but then he just, rolls it. Yeah, I think he rolls back in his head or something. Yeah, yeah Madame Charmaine. That's that's who it is. The um. The person who made us, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, the 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 villain here becomes less and less intimidating the longer this goes on. Because now he's he's even though he's a projection, he's cowering to this doll. But uh, yeah, here comes the uh, here comes the shockwave, and holding up the tension locker. There he goes, bam! All right. Never mess so, uh, with a voodoo doll, Poindexter. That seems like good advice. Never mess with a, a voodoo doll, especially one that walks and talks. Might as well get this show but, on the road, though. Well, uh, we should be able to get back to the gameplay now. There's lots of, um, it lingers here for a little yeah, while. Yeah, actually, it's because he's speaking in the background, so. Yeah. Um. Heart. Yeah, get the heart. I, for some I, reason. I assume it's a life? I don't know. We didn't die the first time through at all. Um. So I don't, I don't know. But yeah, here comes some of the platforming aspects. Picking up these sandbags, which, um... I think... It's actually, uh... It, yeah, they probably are sandbags. Yeah, it, it, that, I think that's what it called them before, because I think when you get a hundred of them, you get a new, like, a new sandbag in your life bar. But we drop... Just drop down here. I'm sorry, I'm kind of pushing through because I did this already. Yeah, we, yeah. we were both a little bit, um... I know it. Put, yeah, put off that we... we some... Something went wrong with the recording. We got we have to do the whole thing again. Here's some some new enemies that aren't frogs. These uh, gingerbread cookies. Easily kill them. Dude. Yeah. One hit. Um, but they're I like the way they look. I don't know. They're they're. Oh, so we did them out. Yeah, they we were wondering before, but they, this oven's just popping them out. So we can probably sit here and fight them indefinitely. Yeah, um, I don't have to do that. That'd be a boring video. Yeah, that. Oh. And yet, yet you're still here, but. I just. Doing yeah, a it's okay. More you uh, you healed. And, um, yeah. See, now it's telling us about the power icons for voodoo powers, but we already know that. Yeah, it told us. It told us that before, but and, yeah, and there's Anvil Hat is what that one's called. We'll probably get to see that later. Um, but now we're in a whole new area here, and this area I thought was really interesting, because it's, it's huge. Um, as you can see, that's our goal there. And then we've got these, um, these yeah, monsters here. Talking. Yeah, but, um, it's just a big... Uh, a big open area that looks at a glance pretty um, pre pretty linear, but there's actually a lot of side places we can go here. Yeah. But, um, and we've got these pages here that um, are from Madame Charmaine's spell books, and uh, we're supposed to collect them for us. Yeah, here this is the one that I thought was the most violent. Like, like look at this. These frogs get cut open, and then we see like their insides. I don't know. That just seems really violent. And, like, if all the enemies were, like, cookies and shit like that, that'd be one thing. But, um, I don't know, these, like, mutant frogs. Oh. It seems cool. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're trapped here. But, um, you collect enough of these gems and you can do your, uh, your, another voodoo power, right? I think that's how it oh, works. Oh, I got it. Yeah, you got it. So, you can, um, it, oh, okay, it's doing, mind. it's doing this first one again. And,. Uh, it's, it's just random, right? The way, which one it shows? Yeah, no, I didn't get one. No, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it just, his animation was a little bit later. And there's a new power there, too. But, um, is, is it random which one it does? Or it do you have any be. control over it? Yeah. I don't know. Um, this one's called the Electromagnetic Voodoo Power. So, yeah, the more you collect, the more, basically, the more That's silly the, ways you can kill enemies. Annoys me. What's that? The controls. For some reason, when I look right, I look left. I look left. I look right. Oh, the uh, the camera's inverted. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Oh, ah! that's interesting. We didn't see, hadn't seen that before. Um, that was totally intentional. I wonder if there's a tactical way to use that. If it's just a silly thing that happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is funny though. Yeah. Uh, but there's a. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of mess it, but it's funny though. It's... Yeah. There's some more uh, mutant frogs here. Oh, there's one there, and then there was a few oh, over yeah. the other way. Them. A bit. Yeah. I'm gonna do this electro. You want you want to try your electromagnetic one? Yep. Let's see what all these guys and then zero. Okay. Um, gathering them all up and then here we go. This uh, magnets pulling. Oh shit! 
Okay, so then that's gonna happen to all of them. They get crushed. Oh, they like just that. got blue the fuck up. Yeah. No. It's uh, lucky for Vince he heals from anything he does to himself. <laughs> or doesn't feel the pain. Yeah. He, um. Oh! Right. But, but then getting, like, hit by other enemies does hurt. Ah! Him. Oh! oh! You fell! You fell! Oh, man. You don't do that. Oh, okay. But you, you just came right back. I guess there's no checkpoints in this, because that's. That's where you died, right? Yeah. So. That's the first time I died. Okay. Um, we haven't been using the fire yet. There's a there's an element to this level where you set yourself on fire and then use it to light up these gas lines, and then that's how you beat this little mini boss here. Uh, we haven't been we haven't been doing that. All right, oh, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, there was a couple items down there before, but I don't think we ever were able to get to them. They were out of your a little bit out of reach. Ow! Yeah, there's some bugs throwing up, throwing gas bombs or not never... gas bombs, but bombs down at you. Um. But yeah, we should go and do the uh, get the fire. All right. That's because that's the only way, to my knowledge, to beat the boss thing. And right now he's just throwing shit at you, which you don't need. You don't need any of that. Um. But gotta gotta clear out all these frogs and, and shit. But you have more health. Yeah. Well, you have full health now. Um. As you see, we've got three sandbags now. Um. Not on that hole. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> you don't want to, don't fall again. Um, oh, you're going to cut them in half? Might as well. There they go. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's a horrible way to go, I know, but... Uh, could be worse. That's what you get for being frogs, I guess? I don't know. Um, okay. And towards the start of the level, because we, we went a different way than we did the first time through here. But towards the start of the level, there's this other path we can take up there, as you can see. And that's, um, that's the gas line path. So we set on fire... And then we light up these gas lines. And oh! Oh. Yeah. You want to light them up as best you can. And thankfully when you do light one up, then it becomes a fire too. So you can, if you, if your fire gets put out, you can just go right back to it. We missed a couple of those ah! pages. But, uh, uh -huh. I guess we might get them on the second try. Or maybe not. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, light yourself back up, yeah, and then we can just jump back. Oh, man. God damn it. What, why can't you make that jump? I don't know. Yeah. Well, here we go, one more time. Alright. And then, um... Got, okay. Got that one lit. And that one lit. Okay, and then there's a, a heart up here. And then from there, we can light these ones down here. So, now that we've got those lit, all we gotta do is run up to this guy. Um, oh, he, uh, he used something big. There we go. Um, and then, then they just blow right the fuck up. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vince doesn't seem too remorseful about blowing them up. In fact, he's doing a, a funny little dance there. Um, yeah, and then there's, there's this guy. He's none too happy about being blown up. But I don't... He says he's going to kick our butt, but I really don't know what he's going to do to us there. And Vince doesn't look too impressed. But we, Let's um, see what this one is. Yeah, this is... Oh, the, yeah, uh, alien attack. Yeah, alien attack. This I one. don't think there's any enemies left to try on, so why not? Yeah, this one's kind of funny. He just this gets disintegrated. And then, obviously, that same thing will happen to any enemies in the area. So, well, yeah, what we're doing here is we just pick up the, uh, the gas can and carry it over to this little magical spot that we ran past before. And when we hit X, that will activate the cutscene to finish this guy off. Because he's, um... A jerk. He's being a jerk, yeah. And, you know, once again, I don't really mind the violence so much against these inanimate objects here. Yeah. Um, even though flattening is a pretty gory way to kill somebody. Uh, he's a huge hunk of metal, so it's kind of hard to be it's squeamish anything, he's with still that. alive. It's just flat. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, if that was a frog, that would be a lot... It'd be different, you know? I, I don't know how else to explain it. But, um... Yeah. There, and that's the uh, that's the end of the demo. And voila! Yeah. So now we get this is the uh, the video we could have selected from uh, the Voodoo menu. Exotic. Voodoo yeah. Locations. Yeah, graveyards brought to life by Voodoo. Lots of interesting things in this game. It is. behind every tombstone. Yeah, and I don't know. Um, Challenges such as some race. I don't know. <laughs> It, um, we've got different vehicles and locations, and it'll show us a couple of the different animations. But I don't know why I haven't heard of 
this game before. Like, it seems interesting. The, um... Like, the, uh... Just, well, the the whole squishing yourself and everything, that's, that's kind of interesting. But also just... It seems like a perfectly good 3D platformer. Like, uh... I don't know if it was too violent or what. It's just, um... Like, I've played a lot worse than this on this channel. Uh, to be honest, this is... I, I think I like this more than, like, Jack and Daxter or something like that. Um, but, uh, I just never heard of it for some reason. And, I don't know, maybe that's on me that I hadn't. Or maybe it's just because it's... If it is just an Xbox game, I don't know if this was on other, uh, ones. I never owned the original Xbox, so... That could be why I hadn't heard of it, but... Guillotine? Yeah. Yeah, the guillotine. It looks like we have... Like that, and, and the, the thing Which actually you didn't see in the video. Yeah, that was the anvil hat we picked up. Oh, the eyes came out. Yeah, like, it is really gory. Uh, and that's kind of my one, like, criticism for it. But that's it for us today. If you want to see um, more of uh, Mr. Alex C20, he has his own channel, which I'll be linking to in the description, where you can see uh, some of his other videos, including, but not limited to, uh, a Let's Play We're Doing Together of Surgeon Simulator, which is, is a lot of fun. It so, is. Um, I'll see you guys next time, but until then, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. See you next time, dudes.